right, today we're going to be looking at this new Feature X with the Skydio, and we're going to be looking at how these waypoints or keyframes or whatever word you want to use to describe it can help you get an amazing shot. So today we're going to be looking at this big tree ahead of us. Once we launch, you'll see it a little bit more clearly. But since we don't have a point of interest option to drag and drop around something, we're actually going to use this to get a point of interest using key points. So let's launch. And we'll tilt the camera up a little bit here once we get set. There we go. So that's one of a couple trees we could be looking at. I'm in a nice big field today, but actually let's look at this guy over here. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit higher. Okay, it's not too bad. I might brighten the screen up just a little bit. Yeah, we'll keep it here for now. So we're going to use these big trees that are right in front of us. And we're going to call that our point of interest. And what's even more amazing about this skill is I can keyframe around the tree to get a point of interest and have it orbit, right? Super smooth, better than I could manually. But we could also create a hybrid move. So I'm actually going to go for something that's more of a vortex that ends with a rocket type of mode, okay? So I might start right here, actually. Just started off strong. And let's go up to, let's do 20 feet. So that way we have a little bit of vortex. And I'll keep it right in the center. And then we're gonna switch over here. Go right to keyframes. It'll switch modes. And then we're gonna click add to have the first frame. So I might actually fly in just a little bit and then have it start panning or orbiting around. So I'm gonna fly forward some, because maybe I want my point of interest really tight on the camera, yeah? And then I'll add another key point here, and I'm gonna to go to the right, so I'm gonna fly in a counterclockwise type of motion. So we'll go to here, yeah, and we'll add. I'll just keep going around to the right till I get it to this next little spot that I want. And it's, it's high noon right now, so the lighting is what it is. Okay, maybe tilt the camera up just a teeny bit more so I don't clip that and keep it centered here, right? So add. And as I start to go around the side, I'm gonna lift it up just a little bit, yeah? So I wanna go up, let's say 25 feet, roughly. Yeah, I'm gonna come around here. And obviously the great thing is, is the sensors are working and I don't have to worry about anything. Let's back it up just a teeny bit too. All right, there. Tilt the camera down just a teeny bit more since we're elevating, rising. So I'll come back some more. And we are, you could see the trail behind it, right? The path that's been flying. So I might raise it up just a teeny bit more, just a couple pushes. We'll come back some. All right, tilt the camera down just a teeny bit. Keep it focused, keep it centered. Okay, and then more to the right. Over here looks good. We'll back it up some. Yep, that looks nice right there. Tilt it down just a tear. Boom. Good, and then we'll go to the right some more. And as I start to come around the corner of this big conglomerate of trees, right, I'll be able to see, see the path that I've flown. All right, so I'm gonna back up a little bit more. And let's bring it up just a little bit more, right? So we're slowly climbing, slowly ascending. Yep. Boom. Okay. And then we just keep working our way around as a vortex would, very circular. And actually I'm gonna come up a little bit higher each time. Yeah, boom. Point down just a little bit. Add this key point here. 
Now we're going to go up a little bit more. There we go. Continue going around. So over here, point the camera down a little bit. This is looking good. Boom. And we're going to keep coming around. I'm going to do one full lap just so it doesn't get too boring. All right. And then we're going to go up just a little bit more as well. Boom, boom, boom. Tilt the camera down a little bit more. Let's back up a little bit. Yeah, that looks nice. Good. We're almost there. Okay, so as I come around here, right, I've almost completed the circle from where we started. So I'm going to come over here. You can hear the drone, obviously, right there. Yep, this is looking nice. We'll go up just a little bit higher. So we're going to kind of frame it from where we started, right at the beginning, right? So we've almost done a full lap. We're just a little bit higher now. Good. And then I'm going to start to tighten up my vortex. Okay, so I'm going to go up a little bit more, right? Come over here just a teeny bit more, like into, that's nice. Just a little more to the right. And we'll see how smooth this is. It's a little, it takes practice, right? So it's going to come around the corner. And then I want to come in a little bit tighter. I'm going to come in forward. Okay, and then go up a little bit higher. Right? Turn this down. Boom, right? And then I am going to go up some more. And then come forward on top of the, the tree a little bit more. And point it back down. And maybe I'll add just a little bit of rotation. So it's almost like I'm getting a rocket and a vortex at the same time, right? So we'll add this. And then we're just going to keep going over to 100. Let's go up to 130. Uh, 140, okay, great, I'll take it. 145, point this down a little bit more. Maybe we'll edge forward just a teeny bit. Yeah, a little to the right maybe. And then give it just a little bit of a turn so it's not too abrupt. Yeah, this looks nice. Good, add that. And then let's go up a little bit higher. Let's say up to 200 feet. Yeah, right there. Whoop. The drone is happy today. Right? And you can see this whole path right below us, which is super interesting. It's kind of fun. It's like a roller coaster. Yeah? And then uh, I want to add one more bit of rotation. So let's go up to 275, maybe. I don't know. And then we'll just add another, let's do a quarter turn. Oops, right here, quarter turn. Like this, so it kind of turns that much. We'll back it up just a little bit to the side. This looks nice and framed, right? And we got a little bit of fall colors happening in my area. You don't really get too much of it, so we'll add it, okay? So let's call it good. So we're gonna play this back, we'll say done. And we're gonna just see what we get. And I'll play it backwards and forwards, and I'm gonna do it really fast to start, like full speed, 11.2 miles per hour. So I get a really dramatic effect, okay? And here we go. And it's going to hold all of the framing. You do have the option of managing the camera yourself. That's too much work for me. I personally just like to set everything up, set it and forget it. Right, this is cool. Right, and just like butter, it follows the whole path, just the way we framed it. I don't have to do any work. And imagine if this was just a really interesting point of interest, or maybe I was more into New England and we had really amazing reds and oranges happening on these trees right now, I bet it would look super magnificent put a little cinematic music behind it, and you take a couple boring trees and make them super exciting, and then sell it to your local chamber of commerce. <laughs>
All right, let's try that forward and it will take it good. Okay, so let's see what happens. So let's pretend like we just started this, right? We're gonna fly straight into it and it's gonna pan, right? Or you could take this later on and maybe edit it and kind of put some speed ramps and speed in and out and have different um, speeds happening as you transition. Kind of like the Matrix. I like this, this is really smooth, this is good. There we go, so we had a nice vortex into a rocket with just a little bit of rotation at each point as we went up. There we go, that's good, I like that, it's interesting. Cool, so that is how you can use this feature X not only to circle a point of interest at any altitude, but also get a hybrid of a vortex meets rocket or any other creative ideas that you might have.